Hi guys, welcome to the back to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. If it's your first time coming across the channel, consider supporting this channel. By the way, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's sorry, it's very important. You'll always be updated really very after the new video. Uh, thank you so much for the returning sub subscribers for the new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. I really appreciate it. It has been a long journey where we are coming from. But I know we are still moving and we shall move together until the end. And I'm here, mix from the next question. I'll already give you all the information I'm getting. We'll talk about information with regarding work, travel, and anything that may come in between that we need to share. And it's for the benefit of us. I'll definitely bring it on this partnership form and definitely we have to share it together. Anything that comes in and definitely is beneficial for all of us, then definitely it can add us to a milestone. Definitely, I'll bring it here, then we can share. By the way, don't forget to put a comment in a comment section. It will always be important uh, updating whenever I upload a new video. What are we looking at? We are looking at what you call the UAE cyber law. The social media misconduct can cost you a lot. We are looking at how can it cost you a lot. We are looking at imprisonment, imprisonment. Then we are also looking at what you call fines, which may not be one dinam, a dirham, or which not, may not be ten dirham, but over uh, 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 five hundred dirhams of the fine, which may you may not be able to pay. Remember, according to the cyber crime laws, insulting others or sharing photos and information affecting others' privacy on social media is punishable in the UAE. That is according to the latest updates on the, what we call the government website regarding what we call the cyber law on social media misconduct that can cost you a lot. So this is what we call. How, why does it is coming, uh, coming in? Because recently, I think I, I, it's on this platform where I shared a story whereby one school teacher teacher uh, was in Abu Dhabi, lost his job where he was being insulted by the, both the, uh, uh, by the students and the parents that complained about her and um, on the social media and she ended up uh, losing her job. Much as she went to the law to pursue, she lost uh, the persecute or she lost uh, uh, the case uh, with the regard, but again it brought an enlight in the UAE government and definitely those laws were revisited again and put in practice with a lot of of strict laws what does it mean it is also it is also it is also punishable uh, or uh, and for example giving what we call in uh, fake what we call a fake as uh, to uh, fake news uh, which are going to counterplay getting affecting others privacy it's also not good commenting about someone's photo uh, giving fake news it is punishable by law for people who are living in the UAE please this is something that you should know you should definitely know how to use the the internet it is your mobile yes we understand i do understand like i use my mobile like a normal everyday life but you should know why, how to use the mobile and how to use it and definitely how to use it in one way or the other remember news and intolerance with a strong cyber law and affects what you call someone's privacy is punishable according to the uae laws Posting photographs, videos, and comments that invade someone's privacy or personal life is a major offense that could attract improvement, improvement or at least six months of what we call penalties. And those penalties are ranging from 1,000, uh, 1, uh, 150,000 dirhams to 500 dirhams. Meaning, if you post someone's video, someone's photos, without the concept of that person, that and they're going to violate the person's privacy, you will be paying what we call 150,000 dirhams to 50 uh, uh, to 500 dirhams as your penalty, or you face jail for one year. Two, refranging from making insulting offensive posts which defame Islam or any other recognized region by the Article 37 of the UAE cyber crime law, such as crime may attract improvement of up to seven years and penalties ranging from 250,000 to 1 million dirhams. For you insulting offensive posts, to Islam or any of that religion that is recognized in the UAE. Under the Article 37 of the UAE Lebalo, you will pay 250,000 dirhams to 500 dirhams. Oh, 
you will be imprisonment in the UAE for seven years. Hope you get me right. That is what we call the cyber, the UAE cyber law. So for people who are living in the UAE, I think it is the hard time to know how you're using the internet and how you're using that smartphone. Information that accidents what you call public opinion causes panics or harm to national security affairs. You must, you'll be improving, uh, put in jail for one year and you'll be uh, given a fine of 100 dirhams. Fine. Which is, you should understand. If you try to pass, if you try to give information, disinformation, you give information that may cause panic in the people, cause panic in society, which is not true. And that information is going to go against what you call the national security. Then you'll be given what you call a fine of 10,000 uh, 10, uh, dirham fine. Then fake news, rumors, misleading or inaccurate information that contradicts the official announcement. You get a one year prison jail, then you'll be subject to a fine of 100 dirhams. Yes, you get that information that is being given by government. You try to suffocate it off. You try to break it to put in your wrong information in that information. You'll be given uh, a one year jail and you'll also have to pay what you call a hundred dirhams as your fine. Fake news during pandemic, emergencies and crisis. You'll be given a two years jail and you'll have to pay a fine of 200 dinars. Don't talk about emergencies in the UAE. It is not your right. It's the government to communicate. Don't circulate information about emergencies that you don't have clear information. This is how these countries, these Arab countries tend to protect their sovereignty or their national security. So we should be mindful whatever we have to put on social media. We should understand what are the norms and the laws that are governing in that country. We should respect them, in, by the way, to avoid falling in trouble, to avoid falling in trouble in these countries. Then something that should know, photos or videos of other people without consent. If you take a photo of me, if you take a, take a photo of another person or video without his or her consent, you'll have to go to jail for six months. And the, the subject fine is between 150,000 dirhams to dirhams 500,000, depending on the court ruling, which is quite very much. How much, how many of you can make 500 dirhams in a month? <laughs> this is something that we need to understand. That is where, that is where we come in and we come to, to respect what the law says in that country. Then lastly, photos of accidents posting photos of accidents dead people or injured you will face a jail of six months in prison and you are subject to a fine of 150 100, uh, 150,000 dirhams to 500 dirhams fine so then, thank you so much for coming back to Siano. this is what we call the cyber crime law in the UAE hope I've tried to share something Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. If it's your first time coming across this channel, consider supporting this channel. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's makes from the next creation. Support this channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. See you again in the next video. It's makes.